And moving now to Lansing, where two of the alleged fake electors appeared in district court today. They both offered up motions to dismiss the cases against them. CBS News Detroit's Al Myers is on your block outside Lansing City Hall with the latest on the proceeding. It was rejections on all fronts for two of the alleged fake electors who made court appearances in Lansing on Friday. Now the defendants and their lawyers wanted to see their cases dismissed and in one case severed from the other 16 defendants. But the judge ruled it's a no go. Uh, the court is going to deny your motion. This matter will continue to preliminary examination for the purposes of establishing proper cause. That's Circuit Court Judge Kristen Simmons, who rejected motions from attorneys representing Clifford Frost and Marianne Henry, both facing eight criminal charges, among others. They didn't claim to be the Democratic electors. They signed their own names. This is a political protest, if anything. Both Henry and Frost are part of a group of 16 people accused of trying to award Michigan's electoral college votes to former President Donald Trump after the 2020 election. The two appeared in court on Friday, wanting to see their cases dismissed. One of their reasons? A video of Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel talking about the case last month, where she called the Republican electors, quote, brainwashed. This particular video makes me think that there are probably other materials that perhaps I don't have. I'm not saying that there are other materials, but I at least want to have that conversation with the Attorney General's office. And then, if necessary, I could bring that motion or resurrect it again in the future. The Assistant Attorney General, who appeared via Zoom for Friday's proceedings, argued Nessel's comments are inadmissible. Judge Simmons was unmoved, rejecting the motion to dismiss and the motion to separate Mr. Frost's case from the rest of the group. Kievsky tells me he looks forward to seeing additional discovery. When it comes to Mr. Frost, and I can only speak on his behalf, there'll probably be some other motions that we will file uh, even before it gets bound over possibly to circuit court. But certainly there's some additional discovery and conversations I want to have with the prosecutor. I think it's very important to be thorough, and we want to be thorough defending Mr. Frost because he is unequivocally 100% innocent. Reporting in Lansing, I'm Elle Myers, CBS News, Detroit.